What you will need for this sponge cake is one teaspoon of cream of tartar, one teaspoon vanilla extract, one teaspoon lemon extract, one and a quarter cup of granulated sugar, six egg yolks and six egg whites separated. And you will need one cup of cake or all-purpose flour. Whisk. Whisked. I whisked it. I'm going to whisk the egg whites. Then you turn it off for a second and you put this cream of tartar in the middle of it. And then you whisk it again. transfer the yolks into a separate bowl in the stand mixer and I'm going to beat them until light in color and then I'm going to add in my two extracts. Now that my egg whites are light, I mean my egg yolks are light in color, I'm going to add a teaspoon of lemon extract. And then I'm going to add a teaspoon of vanilla extract to my egg yolks. You want to make sure you get all the extracts. Okay. Then what you're going to do is mix that in. Okay, so now we transferred the bowl with our egg whites instead of the bowl with our yolks into our stand mixer base. And what you're going to do is you're going to add a, your cup and a quarter sugar, about a tablespoon at a time, to your egg whites while they're mixing, like this. sugar. Okay, so once you know your egg whites are done, um, you are gonna, you know you've added all the sugar and you've waited a little bit and then if you put your mixer in and lift it up, it should have a peak and it should hold the peak. It shouldn't droop down when you put it up. That's the step. So once you have your eggs, you're gonna add them into here. You're gonna add your egg yolks into your egg whites, but only like half your egg yolks. And then what you're going to do is you're going to fold them in. Lucas will show you how to fold them once he's pouring is that half. Good? Is that yeah. Half? Okay. Well, he will show you how to fold them now. I just hard to see for me because I'm on that angle. You get under them and you fold over. And then what you're going to do once you've folded that a little bit, you're going to add your other egg yolks and do that until they're fully mixed should in. Should I combine this first? Yeah, and but make sure you do not stir. You only want to fold because if you start stirring, it'll deflate your egg whites and you don't want that. So now that this is completely folded in, we will put a picture on screen of what it looks like when it's folded, but this is also what it looks like. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your cup of flour and you're going to add a quarter of it at a time to your egg whites and yolks. And then you're going to do the same thing and just Fold it in 
until all of your flour is incorporated. Once your batter is mixed, you're going to preheat your oven to 300. You're going to put your batter into a non-greased tube pan and you're going to cook it for one hour. Okay, so what your batter should look like is if you fold down all the way to the bottom and you bring it back up like a few times, there should be no egg yolk and no uh, flour, just seeing it. That's what it should look like. Does the size of the tube pen matter? For different sizes? A little bit of yolk. And if you do see yolk, you can just continue folding it in the pan. In the tube pan. Yeah. What she means. Okay. So okay, so now what you're going to do is you may notice there's a few bubbles in your batter in your pan. So what you're going to do is take like a butter knife and just go in and out like this to try to get all those bubbles out. Okay. Then you're just going to stick it in the oven for an hour. This is our sponge cake after it's Got it out of the oven and it's cooled no. for about 20 minutes. You need to cool it upside down for about 35 minutes or so. And then it should come out and make sure not to take it out of the pan before it's cooled. You want to make sure it's cool. And um, some good toppings for this is whipped cream, strawberries, and other fruits.